Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to talk to you today about download speeds for Microsoft Flight Simulator updates. Presumably, we're going to get Sim Update 15 tomorrow. And one of the common complaints that people have when a Sim Update comes out is the download speed from the Microsoft servers. And it's pretty frustrating. I had it happen recently, and I was getting somewhere around... I don't know, two to five megabytes per second, and we're talking an eight gig download that's going to take, you know, a week and a half. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I have a hundred megabyte per second uh, download speed from my internet service provider. And I'm sure a lot of you have similarly fast speeds and you're getting the, you know, the, the really frustratingly slow performance. And so I started wondering why that was. And I, and I decided to look into it and see if I could figure it out. And strangely enough, it goes back to something called net neutrality. Now, net neutrality in the United States was uh, basically nullified, I believe it was in 2019. Um, and I don't, I don't want to get into the politics of it, but the simple fact is when net neutrality was in force in the United States, your internet service provider could not throttle your speeds or slow your speeds or increase your speeds depending on which site you were using. If you had a certain download speed that you were paying for, you got that speed for whatever you wanted to use it for. Well, net neutrality and the loss of net neutrality has changed all that. And what, what the case is now is that your internet service provider can decide whether it wants to slow down your internet speed, your download speed, depending on what you're using it for. Now, why would they want to do that? Um, what they can do is they can now go to companies and websites and say to them, if you pay us extra money, we will give your customers priority access to your website and we will speed up the access, the, the download speeds for your website. And conversely, if you don't, we won't. Um, I don't know the the background with Microsoft and what, if any, agreements they have going on. But the bottom line is that Microsoft Flight Simulator is an online streaming game. We know that. And the downloads get streamed as well. They get streamed to your, to your PC through the Microsoft Content Delivery Network. And... For whatever reason, for a lot of people, these download speeds are being throttled. In other words, they're being restricted. So you might get, you know, whatever download speed you pay for when you're using it for something like Netflix or whatever. But when you're using it for Microsoft Flight Simulator, you do not get those download speeds. Okay, so now that we know what the problem is, how do we get around it? The simple way is using a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network. And basically what you do when you're using a VPN is you connect directly to a server and then you connect after that server, you connect to whatever website it is that you're using or whatever service it is that you're using. So all your internet service provider is seeing is that you're connected to this server they can't see anything you're doing beyond that so therefore they can't determine okay they're using you know the microsoft content delivery network we can slow that down or they're using whatever else and we want to speed that up um so basically the 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 vpn the virtual private network is a middleman between you and the internet and you would think that using a middleman would slow you down and that's actually exactly the opposite, because like I said, when you use a VPN, your internet service provider can't tell what you're doing. They can't tell what service you're using, what website you're visiting. And I used this recently to download the Sim Update 15 beta. Um, there was an update last week. I think it's uh, 137.9 is is the version number and that's the version that's going to presumably re be released tomorrow and i started the download and i was getting between two and five megabits per second which is like or megabytes per second which is like 
ridiculous. I mean, it, it, it would have taken a week and a half to download it. I did some searching online. I have a VPN that I actually don't really use very often. And I connected it. I connected it to a server in Norway. Now, mind you, I'm in New York. Uh, one of the recommendations was, was to use Norway for whatever reason. So I connected to Norway. And my speeds instantly went to 50 megabytes per second. Um, and so the, the long and the short story is if you want to get around this incredibly slow download speed for Microsoft Flight Simulator updates, use a virtual private network. There are ones that you pay for. I have one that I pay for. I pay, I believe, $80 for a year, I think is what I pay. Um, you can, there are free ones. I don't know how well they work. Uh, I have no, I have no free ones to recommend to you. That's not really my my purpose here. Um, but the bottom line is, if you use a virtual private network, you are going to get the download speeds that you're looking for. It's going to speed up your Microsoft Flight Simulator update downloads, and uh, that's that's what we should all be doing. Unfortunately, that's what we have to do. So. Um, I will come back to this subject in a future video with something Microsoft Flight Simulator related, but I did want to get this out there before the sim update comes out tomorrow so that you guys can get out there and find either either use the VPN that you have or you know do some research, find yourself a free one or find yourself a pay one that you want to use and uh, and get yourself faster access to your Microsoft Flight Simulator downloads. And if you guys have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. I'll be glad to, to answer anything I can. And I hope you guys are having a great day, and we'll talk soon.